Hello again, internet people, and welcome to this corner of the internet. My name is the Java Kid, and I am here with another JavaScript for Kids video. Today, in this JavaScript for Kids video, we are about to learn our first conditional called the if else conditional, which is very useful, I might add. And with that said, let's jump right into it. Right off the bat, I want to say thank you guys for your patience. Um, I have not, I've had some time issues this past week, and I've just wanted to say thank you guys uh, for being patient and uh, waiting for my next episode. So, uh, let's get into the code here. Um, let's see what our uh, script source is going to have today. I named my uh, file if else dot js so if you guys want to do that go ahead and uh, go over to brackets name your file if else and uh, tie it in with your html file like we did in the last episode so well, let's go to our uh, file here and we are going to be to we're going to start coding so let's say var x and we're going to set it to 10 and here's the, where the here's the part where I start explaining about the if else. So if else conditionals and uh, all conditionals, this is how they work. Uh, each conditional obviously has a condition, and if that condition uh, is true, then the code inside of that conditional will run, and um, it will run, and it will output onto uh, whatever you want it to output onto. But if that conditional is not true, the failsafe proof for the conditional, or the else in uh, this matter, will uh, run. So let's code it, and maybe you guys, if you didn't understand, will uh, understand it now. So let's say if uh, we're going to put something inside of these parentheses, we're going to say, x is greater than x is greater than 5 which it obviously is then we're going to say x plus plus console.log x so let me explain what i just did here let me I'm kind of a space nerd um, not space, like deep space, not like space, I mean like space, space, like as in like text space, you know. Like <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to uh, stop getting off track, but this is how it's going to deal out. Um, so this is if, the condition is inside of here, if x is greater than 5, which it is, x is 10, it's going to increment x, which means it will add 1 to x, which this is a, just a shortcut, x plus plus, means add, uh, add 1 to x. So if this is true, run all of this code right here. So what this code is going to do is add 1 to x, and we are going to console.log x, which is going to make it up here. So now we have the uh, other part of the conditional, which is if it does not become true. So else, and we're going to say that, and we're going to say alert, error in the code, error in the code. And then we're just going to put a kind of sneaky face. <laughs> so let's run our code. Let's go over here to where our uh, browser is refresh it and that will run our code and we have 11 here guys so what just happened was uh, since x was actually greater than 5 uh, we incremented onto x and it is now 11 so let's go on to another example that might be a bit more funny and a bit more uh, reliable too so let's set variable age to uh, 13 or actually 14 and let's say if age age is less than uh, hmm, less than five this is what we're gonna do we're gonna say okay I don't want to be a savage but I'm gonna say oops <laughs> I'm gonna say alert go watch Caillou Yes, yes, guys, I am a savage because I don't know how to spell Caillou and I just said go watch Caillou, so da-dee-da-dee-da. -da -da. But 
Anyways, we're going to uh, run this. Actually, let's put in another thing in our code. Um, we're going to say elif, which is basically the same, or no, 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 else if, sorry, um, it, which is basically the same thing as if, but it uh, if gets prioritized in this code, and else if comes after if. So if age was actually less than five, then we would, this would actually prioritize it and not check everything else. But else if, it would check every single one before making sure uh, that this condition is true. So we're going to set a condition for else if. We're going to say age is less than 10. We're going to say, actually, let's say if age is actually greater than greater than. So we're going to put if age, no, 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 we're going to say less than. Yes, I am savage. If age is less than 10, but that would be this. Hmm. We're going to say if age is less than if age is uh, greater than 10 but and so this is where uh, and and is gonna come in so these two ands right here mean uh, uh, we have another condition that uh, this else if needs to run so if age is greater than 10 and if age uh, is age is uh, less than 14 then we're gonna run this code so that's what's going to happen, and we're going to say alert, huh, what do people uh, 10 to 14 like to watch? Oh, oh, go watch DanTDM, Minecraft, scrub. <laughs> I just roasted someone on Roblox. So we're going to put in our else now, else, alert, just say error. And let's test out our code over here. Oh, wait, first I have to save it. And it says error for some reason. Oh, let's check our code. If, okay, age is 14, 14, oh, 14 can't be less than five? If a, if, if 14 is greater than five, huh, I might just, yeah, if, age is greater than five go watch Caillou okay so this is the status okay okay so now we have it correct and it's going to say go watch Caillou because our code isn't uh, correct here but how could they roast a 14 year old <laughs> I don't want to watch Caillou we're going to go back to our code and we're going to say if age is greater than five and is less than is uh, age is less than what uh, 10 we're going to say watch Caillou and uh, let's set this to 15 because I want to watch uh, Dan TDM I'm gonna watch Dan TDM my grass crap <laughs> I don't want to watch Dan TDM <laughs> So that was our simple code here, guys. Uh, this episode was a really fun recording with you guys, and I really did enjoy this episode, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, guys, please do leave that big fat thumbs up, and if you are really awesome, subscribe to my channel. Other than that, if you do have any questions, please do feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And as always, remember to keep coding, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!